I hope quick preview for Wednesday against Morecambe. I oh, nearly said tomorrow night now, but tonight now. Okay, now what a day. Just want to start quickly. A lot of you asked me after the last video where I got my t-shirt from. What I'm going to do is a, a local artist called Lunk Horton. He's been uh, making these. He's got a website. I'm going to put the address for his website in the description below. Click on there. You can have a look at all his stuff. Got some great stuff on there. Local lad as well. S6 postcode on the business address. And always a bonus. Right, let's have a look at Morecambe's form. Okay, Morecambe's last four results. So, started with a 0-0 against Wimbledon. A 2-1 home defeat against Wigan Athletic. Followed it up, quite surprisingly there. A 3-2 win against Wickham. Uh, opening in relegation battle there. And then Accrington Stanley, most recently at the weekend, a 2-2 draw. Now, Morecambe are down at bottom end of the table in a relegation dogfight. So you might ask if they've actually got a danger man at all. But of course, they have. More comes one to watch then. Well, it couldn't be anyone else. It's Cole Stockton, the striker. 27 years of age. Tremendous record this season. 31 appearances. 20 goals. That is superb. There's not a team in this division that wouldn't like to have someone like him playing for them. Been at uh, Morecambe since 2019, so third season, but in total only got the 33 goals for them, so this this season has been something of a purple patch for him. Quite interesting that, isn't it? 20 goals in 31 games this season, really impressive record, absolutely fantastic. But he's been there three years, he's only got 33 goals in total for him. 27 years old. What so what am I banging on about? Well, what I'm banging on about is sometimes with players, it don't always click at the same time. Players don't all develop at the same rate. He's 27 years old. His record prior to that, in the, in the previous nine years that he's been a professional player, he's got just 30 goals, which averages out at four a season. So what's the point I'm trying to make here? Well, the point I'm trying to make is Deli Bishiro is getting a lot of stick at the minute. Unfair stick, I think, in a lot of ways. I talked Saturday in the review about a lot of the work that he does off the ball and the energy that he brings, closing lines down and other things like that. Not always brilliant on the ball, sometimes don't make the right decision. But he's a young player, 20 years old, with great potential, who's played just 30 career games, 30 adult career football games in men's league professional football. There's a lot to come from him, but sometimes let's just show a little bit of patience. Got a lad like Stockton, who, who's played all them games, averaging four goals a season. Suddenly, it clicks, and that's what you get. 20 goals in 30 games. People progress at different rates. So, let's just ease off that kid a little bit here, because I think we've got a player on his hands head in future. Let's get behind him and uh, get off his back a little bit. No, I am leaving it in, because it, it's true. Now, people see him, they see the size of him, they see his bulk, they're judging him as a man. Well, he's, he's a lad. I don't care what anybody says. At 20 year old, you're a boy. And he's a boy trapped in a man's body. Folks are looking at him and expecting him to play like a bloody 30 year old with 250, 300 bloody appearances under his belt. He's a kid, just making his way. No, I'm not. I'm leaving it in. But I don't care. Fuck him. What about Wednesday? How's Wednesday going to line up? Well, Darren Moore will want to go with a similar side as he can to Saturday. The only thing is we have got a glut of games coming up and he might have one eye on that, especially with the squad shrinking. One player who won't be playing is Lewis Wing, who's been uh, recalled by King Trotter and the Sensory Wickham. Uh, so the midfield three, I suspect, will stay the same. Byers is the only real genuine option of bringing in there. Uh, I can see one or two people saying, oh, wrestler one goal, we can't afford him to get damaged too much too soon. But at the moment, I don't think Baez is a realistic option to come in and do the job that Luongo does. In fact, I'm not sure anybody can come in and do the job Luongo does. Mendes Lang, he got substituted on Saturday. The game was safe by that stage. So I think he was rested. I think Darren Moore had got one eye in this game. So I think he'll definitely start. Whether it's on the left or the right, don't know. Johnson got through a tremendous amount of work up and down that left flank. One of the hardest rolls up pitch wing backs, in, especially in this system, you are up and down all game. So it could be Mendes Lang on the left, Jack Hunt on the right, or it, it could be Mendes Lang starting again on, on the right and Johnson on the left. There's one or two question marks in there about people having a rest. Up front, obviously, we've heard the news Gregory's out with a foot injury. Rumour doing the rounds is that it's his toe. 
sounds like a bit of a comedy injury at all, doesn't it? But it's not really, because when I was a kid, Gary Lineker, my favourite England striker, his career was finished with a toe injury. So, not to be laughed at, could be out for a while with that. So it looks like Windass and Canberra up front. And, and I thought they linked actually quite well on Saturday. I think he'd be keen to start with them. Canberra, though. Canberra. Been out for five weeks. That is a long time. And he really put himself about on Saturday. And that is when you've been out that long, that's when you can pick up them little strains, isn't it? When, you, when you've been out a long while, come in and put in that sort of endeavour, that's when you can get them little strains. So interesting to see if he starts. I think he'd like him to. If not, it could be John Jules up front. Equally, the, the left-sided slot, Liam Palmer's available to come in there if Johnson's feeling any fatigue. I think the team will be as similar as it can be to Saturday, but with the options of one or two changes if we need them. Can Wednesday get a result? Well, if they play like Saturday, I think they can get a result. If they if they play like they did the week before against Oxford, but without the Kamikaze defending, I think they can get a result. And they really need to get a result. I'm not saying they should get a result, because you can never bank on anything in football, but these are struggling at wrong end at table, even though they have got that goal threat. And we've really got to be winning these sort of games to stay in touch now. If we have a quick look at the table, we genuinely can't be affording any defeats at this stage. If we're to have any genuine attempt at getting in the playoff positions before end of the season. These are the games that you've got to win.